Welcome to the last episode in Blender Beginner Series. So in a previous one we rendered all the images and now I will show you how to compile them into one video. So for that we can either go to File, New and Video Editing. But I will leave this open just because I want to show you what you need to match here in the Render and the Color Management. So instead I will open a new Blender copy. And here I will go to video editing. And this is it. Blender has a built-in OK video editor, but of course you can do that in any other video editor like Premiere Pro, DaVinci, and so on and so forth. But because we are using Blender, let's do everything here. First of all, before we import images, I want to change the resolution here. Our resolution was, this is why I opened the Blender, just to show that what we need to check. So the resolution was C1080 by 1350. So let's go here. 1080, uh, 1080 by 1350. Okay, that's it. Let's bring this down a bit. Okay, then we have only 100 frames, not 250. That's cool. And everything else we will do later. So for now, that's it. And now let's go to add and import, uh, and import, add image sequence. Okay, this, this, and A for all, and just add image strip. And it's here, so this is how it looks. Beautiful, see? Woohoo, and it's infinite loop, this is what we wanted. It's really cool, but the colors are off. So if we go right here to our folder, this is what we had after rendering, you can see the colors here, and the colors here are different. So why is that? Let's go back to zero. So color here and color here is not same because of that filmic thing that is ripped off by EXR. So let's go here and let's see our settings. So basically we have filmic, look is none, and exposure is zero and gamma is one. So also we need to match this here. We need to go here to the camera and color management and go to sRGB filmic, it's already better, and this is it. You can also add contrast here, maybe medium contrast this if you want, it's a lower, medium contrast, or maybe medium high contrast, if you want more contrast, let's go back to the first frame. But as default, it was like this, and I really like it like that, and everything else is the same, you can use curves if you want here, and maybe add a little bit more contrast, just for fun, if you want, that's an option, before, after, mm, what do you think? Why not? Maybe, maybe like, like that, just for fun. You can do whatever you want. And then go here to this, like a printer output settings, and again, choose a folder, and uh, I will put in the same folder. No problem at all. Also, let's go here and change to 25 frames per second, because that was the original here, if we go right there, you can see 25 frames per second. And uh, also let's choose the file format. So this is okay. But let's go to the encoding here and choose MPEG, MPEG4. This is it. We want MPEG4 and also H264 or if you want to choose any other, but I like H264. Medium quality, I don't want, maybe we can go with a lossless quality or high quality or any of these. So let's go with no uh, compression, like lossless quality, encoding speed, good real time. So uh, let's leave it on good. If you go to this perceptor, ah, lossless, okay. That's okay, that's okay for audio, we don't have audio. And now let's go to render and render animation and you will see how fast this will go much faster than rendering videos because this is just compiling the photos much faster than rendering all the sequence images. That's it, it's done. And let's go to our folder right there and let's play this. Play it. And you can see it's beautiful and we are done with this. Also you can go and render out the Eevee version. And let me show you the difference. So Eevee, all the same settings, and I will just go and say render animation. But before that, yeah, let's change the folder here to output folder. It will be a different one. Let's go here and say, this is cycles, this is E for Eevee. 
So come on, E for Eevee, and I will go with new folder 01, accept, and now let's go and let's see how faster this will be. So see, already rendering five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11, it's really fast. So this is EV, this is Cycles, and you can see side by side, they looks very similar, they are different. You can see in the shadows and reflection especially, so don't take this in, in consideration because this is totally different how the light is affecting this uh, smoke. But because this is really light scene and materials and everything, they're really similar. For certain scenes, there will be a huge difference, you will see that in the future episodes, but this is it, and if I play it one more time, you can see both of them are doing great job. So I'm happy with both results, and now it's your time. First of all, I want to congratulate to all of you who managed to stick with me till the very last episode. Now it's time for you to create this rocket, not once, not twice, but three times in order to master uh, these tools. Trust me, just take time and create once by watching this video, try next time not to watch or with the help of the videos and try third time to create everything completely on your own. And when you finish and render out some really cool animation, put it on Instagram and tag it with 3D, not 2D rocket. So just one hashtag and I will make sure to see it. I will be really happy to see what you came up after watching this video. Also, you don't need to copy exactly the same shape of a rocket. Experiment, try something on your own. Right guys, so that would be it. See you next week in the next fun video. Bye bye.